everybody. I apologize. I'm a couple of minutes late. I was saying those two minutes contemplating whether I wanted to do this. Um, greetings from Santa Barbara. I am what I would like to say, uh, beat the hell up. Um, I'm on my right today and got, uh, had some small successes and then I proceeded to pull like every major muscle group. So, um, just in time for a full body workout. Woo! Anyway, it is the last workout before Christmas. C-Dub, glad you're here. Um, wanted to give a shout out to C-Dub. Not only is he one of my awesome workout partners from afar, but also he got engaged this weekend. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Congratulations! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Um, congratulations, Craig Maddie. Very happy for you. And uh, are you guys going to get married? Jeez. Um, let me fix the camera a little bit because it's a little crooked. Um, anyway, I hope that the weather is good. Um, if you are working out with me, say hello. Yay! Mandy's here too. Yay! You're both here. Congratulations again. I'm so excited for the two of you. Yay! All right. Uh, I don't have any music today because um, I... I don't have my shit together. I'm just going to be honest with you. I didn't send out Christmas cards. I apologize, um, especially you, Craig Manny, because I got yours today. It was so nice. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with this holiday season, uh, but yeah, I don't have my shit together. I'm going to just mess up. But with that being said, let's get started. Yay. And we are going to do a uh, full body workout. So let's do a full body warm up. Let's start by plugging our fingers into the ground and just turn your head side to side. I'm already feeling it because pull my shoulder muscles. All right, go ear to ear, ear to shoulder. Still reaching down through those fingers. It's uh, cooler here in Santa Barbara. We've been in the 50s because it's you know, officially winter. And we have more rain coming tomorrow, supposedly. I'm gonna go side to side. I'm just doing the lower half of my neck, and that's for two reasons. Um, one, I'm going to, um, you know, sometimes I say it's not good to stretch your neck the other way. Um, you can believe that or not. Two, sometimes when people do full circles, uh, they get a little dizzy. So we're just going to go side to side. All right, let's do some shoulder rolls back. Four, three, two, one. Scoot shoulder rolls forward. Five. Four, three, two, one. Start with some little circles down by our sides. I'm pulling my fingertips back, trying to get them as close to my arms as possible. Going for 90 degrees, we're gonna slowly raise our arms as we do little circles. And for some reason, I like to call this like if Jackie Chan were washing windows, they would be on either side and go like this. I don't know why I get that image. But that's what I do, come up overhead, reading. Oh, it's 30s in North Carolina. That is uncivilized. Let's reverse. Slowly come back. Keep bending, keep bending those fingers back. And out to the sides. And low, low, low. All right, let's start some big arm circles. Forward. Four, three, two, one. Let's go back. Back. Four, three, Two, one. Let's do arms out like an airplane. Let's bend at the hinge of the hips, reach the outside of the opposite foot. Keep going. I'm gonna do, let's go for a five on each side. I'm gonna adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go. Oh, all the camera adjustments today. Sorry about that. All right, so for the next couple of moves, you can hold on to a wall or to a chair, whatever feels good for you um, to keep your balance. Let's do some leg swings. So leg swings forward and back. My torso is staying vertical, going for range of motion without rotating the hip out and without arching your back to get more range of motion. So how are you feeling today? Feeling good? Having a good week? What day, wait, is today Tuesday? Yeah. Um, having an okay day, okay week getting ready for the holidays, for which I'm barely prepared. Let's go, let's go 
out to the side and in. So swing the leg across your body so it looks like this. And that's so weird, right? Fun. Let's go to the other side, other leg. Kicking forward and back. So things you will need for today. One, you will need a chair or a bench, or it could be like a countertop. Um, we're gonna have a few moves using that. But you definitely need a chair and a bench. If you have a, for one of the moves, it might be easier to use a countertop. We'll get to that in a little bit. Swing cross body. Ooh. Um, coming out and in. And also we're gonna have a couple moves with mini bands and, a, and most moves with dumbbells. Um, a lot of these you can do with body weight, but just nice to have the resistance. Let's go side to side. Whew. Little side lunges. And then I want you to see how low you can go. Can you get nice and low in your squat? Butt down, hands down, reaching up to the side. Placing an arm up, following it with your eyes. Oof. Oof. There you go, all the noises. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, nothing. My leg is boring. Got nothing going on. Let's walk it out into a plank. Let's go to downward dog. Pedal those feet. <sighs> All right, so in downward dog, you're going to kick one leg up in the air, hip square. You're going to come in a plank and draw that knee forward. All right, you're going to go back out into downward dog, that leg up in the air. Now you're going to come into plank, bring the elbow towards the knee. One more time. Up, down into plank, opposite knee, or knee to opposite elbow, I should say. Come on up, rotate that leg over, five ankle twists in each direction. I always do the wrong side, so you can't see what I'm doing. All right, bring that knee in one more time. Swing it side to side, and now come down into your pigeon. You can forward fold if that's more comfortable. If pigeon is a challenge for you, you can always do it on the bench, and I'll demonstrate that as we sit here. You can just do this if you want. All right, but come back out. Let's go back into our plank. Downward dog, now we got the other side. So leg up in the air, knee in to chest as you go into plank. Leg out, hip square, knee into the elbow as you go into plank. Back out, knee crossing, opposite elbow as you go into plank. Up, cross, bring that leg across. Ankle circles, five in each direction. Bring that knee in, swing it side to side as you're in plank, and go into your pigeon. And if you need the bench or the chair, go for it. Whew, my favorite move ever. Absolute favorite stretch. All right, swing it around. Come into butterfly pose, pose sitting tall. Leaning forward and slowly making circles with the top of your head, keeping your back straight, sitting tall, slowly moving around, three, and then go the other way, just three slow circles. Hopefully you're getting nice and warm. I'm going to start warm. It could also be that chili I had as a late lunch. Ooh, all right. Shake it out, stand up, give me a high five. All right, it's cold out in North Carolina, so we gotta do some stuff to keep you warm. I'm drinking club soda today, because uh, that's a dangerous thing. All right, we are going to do nine moves that we're going to do as a, as a circuit, hopefully two to three times. We may not be doing core work today specifically just because my core, I make to tell you what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't make me laugh. All right, so. Hopefully you're all nice and warmed up. Our first move, we are going to grab a couple of weights. I'm not gonna go super heavy because I'm not feeling super easy today. What we're gonna do, 
is I'm going to move to the bench. I have a little more room. There we go. We are going to do a step back lunge, and then you're just going to do knee up. So you're just going to step back, knee up. Okay, keeping your back straight. You're going to have a slight forward lean, so you're going to feel that stretch on your glutes. And we are going to do uh, ten times each side. Okay. So our feet shoulder width apart, keeping your back straight, leaning forward slightly. Three, two, one, and step back and knee in. Back. Two, back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on up, switch sides. Here we go, three, two, one, and one. Still staying in like sort of a low, your knee is bent even when you come up to bring that knee up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Let's move on to the next move. So we're going to start in a sumo squat position. I'm going to go light now because, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so winded. Okay, so you're going to be holding the weights up like this. You're going to turn, turn, you're going to press up, and press up, up overhead, okay? So you're getting a little bit of a side lean as you're doing this. And you're going to be holding the weights for a while, so I would encourage you not to go super heavy. So I'm doing eights. Okay, yeah. All right, we're going to do a set of 10. So it's twist, twist, reach, reach. All right, we got this. Here we go. Get into that sumo squat. Three, two, one, and twist, twist, reach, reach. That's one. Twist, twist, reach, reach. That's two. Twist, twist, reach, reach. That's three. Twist. Twist, reach, reach, that's four. Twist, twist, reach, reach, that's five. Twist, twist, reach, reach, that's six. Twist, twist, reach, reach, that's seven. Twist, twist, reach, eight, two more, reach, Reach, last one, twist, twist, reach, reach, shake it out. Whew. All right, next move. Single leg deadlift to row. So if you want to go a little heavier, it's up to you because you're going to do a single leg deadlift. Now I'm going to give you two options for the single leg deadlift. The first is the non-balance option, okay? So you're going to have uh, one foot here. So this is your main, this is your working leg. And then you're going to put the other leg around your toe, okay? This is your supporting leg. So you're going to come down into a deadlift like this. So notice that my back is still um, hinging at the hips, okay? This knee is slightly bent. I'm going to be bending a little more in the supporting leg, but most of my weight is on this front leg. Okay, so you're gonna come down at the bottom of the movement, row, and then come up, okay? If you are doing the balance, you're gonna come down and keep those hips square, row, and then come up, okay? So we have assisted and we have the uh, unassisted. So I'm going to do, um, since I'm gonna demo them for you, I'm gonna do four and four. We're going to do four assisted, four balance, and we're doing eight on each side, okay? So if you're assisted, you got that one foot, you're on your, you got that back toe back there, all, almost all of your weights, your front foot, hinging at the hips, going down to mid shin. So three, two, one, and row, and come up, squeeze the glutes. Down, row, 
Come up, keeping that back straight. Down, row. Come up, that's three. Row. Come up, that's four. Now I'm gonna kick the leg back. So down, row. Come up. Down, row. Come up, this is six. Down, whoop. Row, seven, keep that back straight. Down, row, and come back up. Good job, we're gonna go to the other side. Again, I'm gonna do four and four. You can choose, you don't have to do what I'm doing, I'm just doing it as a demo. I'm gonna pick a team on the next two rounds. Here we go, three, two, one, and down. Row, come up, down. Row, row towards the navel, come up, keep the back straight. Down, row, that's three. All that weight's in the front leg, down, four. Come up, down, row, come up. Three more, row, come up. Two more, row, come up. Last one, row, and come up. Take a break. Excellent job, my friends. How are you doing? Woo! All right, this next move, we're gonna use the bench. Now, if you do not have a bench, you can use a chair for this. It's sort of nice though if you have a flat countertop. One, it can be a little higher, and two, um, yeah, higher is a little easier. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with that? Mm. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna put your hands on your bench or your flat surface, shoulder width apart. Your hands are gonna be at the edge of the bench. All right, so you're gonna come back into sort of a modified downward dog. So see how my hands, or my arms are straight with my back and my head is in line with my arms, okay? From here, you're going to bend your elbows down, okay, not out, do not let them bend out. You're gonna bend down, my body is moving in a straight line, I'm going to hover my head right over the bench and then just push, see how my elbows go down and extend? So my torso and my head are sort of moving in a straight line. And if you've ever done a uh, dive bar or push-ups, this is a very similar movement, okay? So again, hands are at the edge of the surface. My elbows bend, bend and go down. My head comes forward. You see how I move as much as I can? And then I keep my body in that line. Elbows go down and extend, all right? This is not an easy move, okay? If you're new to this, take your time with it. What I don't want you doing is this, because this is just a push-up, okay? The idea is that you are moving everything in one line and you are kissing the bench. So this is, the, I call this kiss the bench. No, 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 no. All right, we're gonna do slow and controlled. We're only gonna do a set of five. And if you've ever done these before, um, well, maybe they'll be easy for you. If they're easy for you to do more, we're gonna do five. Here we go, three, two, one, and elbows down. Come forward. Lips skim the bench, come back. That's one. Elbows down, torso skims, and coming back. That's two. Elbows down, don't let them flare out. That's the hard part, not letting them flare. Elbows come back down, slide. That's three, two more. Elbows down, skim, coming back, elbows down. Extend, that's four, last one. Elbows down. Hello, how's it going? And oh, push back. How'd that go? Did you like that one? We done that one before, I don't know, but good job. All right, this first round is gonna be slow because I gotta explain the moves. But tell me what you thought of that. Did you like it? I hope so. Let's see, what do we have next? Next. We are going to do curls to punches. 
So let's do hammer curls. So we're gonna curl and then punch, punch, okay? Might wanna go a little lighter for the punches, okay? So I'm gonna go back with my eights. All right, so hammer curls. So palms are gonna be facing inward. You're gonna curl up like this, and then punch, punch. And if you wanna have a little bit of a stagger feet to uh, do your punches, I really want you to try to get some torso twisting as opposed to just punching straight ahead, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do a set of 12. Ah, why did I say that? Here we go, three, two, one, and curl, punch, punch, and down. Curl, punch, punch, and two. Curl, punch, punch, and three. Curl, punch, punch, and four. Curl, punch, punch, and five. Curl, punch, punch, and six. I'm gonna switch my lead foot just because. Curl, punch, punch, seven. Curl, punch, punch, eight. Curl, punch, punch, nine. Curl, punch, punch, 10. Two more. Curl, punch, punch, 11. Curl, punch, punch, and 12. Nicely done. Excellent, excellent. All right. Grab some water if you need it. We're gonna come down to the ground. I want you to grab two mini bands. Two, I said two. All right. You're going to have a heavier one around your ankles or around above your knee if that's easier. I'm gonna start above my ankles. And then, yeah, and then you're gonna have a lighter one around your hands. We are going to do banded bird dogs, because why not? Um, for the hands, um, I would say sort of tuck your thumbs into them so they're around the top four fingers but your thumbs can grab on. If you want to have one, uh, no, that's going to be too hard. <laughs> All right, so you're in a good quadruped position. Your back is flat and parallel to the ground. Your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are all stacked. Um, your hips are stacked over your knees. We're just going to extend and back down. Extend and back down. All right, we're doing a set of 10. Here we go. Three, two, one, and extend down. Opposite. We're alternating hand and foot. Two, two. Try to get good extension on the leg and the arm. Three, four, score the other side. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, keep that back straight, eight, Eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Good job. Now again, you could have done that without the bands. You're just doing bird dogs. It's nice to have a little extra bit of tension though. So, yeah, good job. We're gonna stay on the ground. We are going to do corn cob push-ups. Oh no. So you can do this on your knees. If you're on your knees, remember, straight line, shoulders to knees. This is not plank under your knees. This is quadruped. We're not in that right now. I have my hands a little wider than the shoulder width, okay? So we're gonna go down, and then I'm gonna move to the side, move to the side. Sort of like kissing the floor. We're kissing everything. We're kissing the bench, kissing the floor, okay? So down, like you're eating corn on the cup. So side to side, come back to center, come up. Uh, we're gonna do six to eight of these, okay? If you're feeling good, go for eight. If you're not feeling so hot, just stick with six. And again, you can do these on your feet, of course. Here we go, three, two, one, and down. Side, side, up, that's one. Down, my elbows go back, side, center, up, that's two. Down, side, side, up, that's three. Down, side, side, up, that's four. 
here on your knees, it looks like this. Down, side, side, up, that's five. Down, side, side, up, that's six. Down, side, side, seven. Last one down, side, side, and eight. Excellent job. How are you feeling? I feel like I had something, a sliver in my thumb. I'm so weird. All right. We've got, I can't remember the name of these. I have a feeling they're Copenhagen Plagues. If you know, know the actual name of these, let me know. You're going to need a chair or a bench. If you want to start out small, you can have something a little lower to the ground, okay? How are we doing over here? Whew, indeed. So what you're going to do, you're going to be on your elbow. You're going to put your top leg on the bench or on your chair, okay? You do need to have something with space underneath. So this isn't going to work on uh, like a stair because your leg has to come up underneath. So you're going to lift and then you're going to adduct that leg on the bottom, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're going to press into this leg. You're going to adduct to get yourself into side plank. And then you are going to lift that bottom leg up. If you are doing this, if that's too much, you can just come up, you know, have one foot on the ground and do this. But I want you to try to get your foot elevated, okay? Here we go. And what I want to do is, I want to add a hip up each time so that we're getting some good adduction on here and then some more adduction on here. We're going to do eight each side, okay? So here we go, three, two, one, hips up and lift and down. Hips up, lift, down. Hip up, lift, three. Hip up, lift, four. Hip up, lift, five. Hip up, lift, six. Hip up, lift, Seven, hip up, lift, eight. If you want to do more, I'm going to do two more actually. Why not? Nine and ten. All right, you're going to see my posterior and my trolls. You're welcome. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, lift, and down. Up, lift, and down. I just have my hand on my hip. When you dip, we dip. I dip, we dip, it's three, four, five, six, seven. You can stop at eight or you can go to 10. I'm gonna to go to 10, nine, and 10. Nicely done, nicely done. How are you doing? All right, we have one move left. And this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. One thing that I forgot to tell you to grab is either a yoga block, if you don't have a yoga block, I would like you to grab like a pillow or a bolster. You're gonna grab one weight and it's not gonna be really heavy, okay? So what you're gonna do is you are going to forward fold. Now I know for some of you, doing a forward fold may be difficult. So I just want you to forward fold as much as you can, okay? But I want you to have something here that you can forward fold to and you can press against as you're doing this motion. You're gonna grab one weight, you're gonna hold it in each hand. As you're forward folding, wherever that forward fold is, trying to keep your back as straight as possible, keeping contact with this block, okay? I want you to press yourself forward. Your arms are going to go up, and you're going to raise your arms as high overhead with straight arms as possible while maintaining your pressure with this, okay? Why am I having you do that? So then you don't lift with your torso instead of, instead of your arms, okay? So this is working range of motion for your arms without letting your back help out, okay? So as you can see, I've pulled my hamstring 
And this is my forward fold today. I'm going to keep a straight back. I'm going to press into that block, and we're going to go for a slow set of 10. Three, two, one, and lift. Two, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Three, four, five. Maintain that pressing into that yoga block. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that's the circuit, my friends. Woo! So I'm curious how that move was for you. Maybe it was easy. Maybe the challenge was trying to lift over your head. Maybe the challenge was forward folding. Maybe the whole thing was a challenge. But I hope I challenged you. And we are going to grab some water. I'm going to turn on my fan. And we're going to do that hopefully two more times. We went nice and slow for that first round so I can show you all the moves. And now we're going to do it again. How's everybody doing? Sign of life, thumbs up, thumbs down. How did this uh, treat you? Easier than you thought, harder than you thought? I don't want to hear it while I'm drinking club soda. <laughs> Last move was good. All right, cool. How'd you get on that forward fold? I know like you, see so you got some uh, hip hinge issues. So think about how, what you did in that last round. Was your resistance too heavy? Was it too light? Now's your chance to switch it up. And we're gonna go into round two. I'm gonna read this one more thing. <laughs> yes, for the record, core cop push-ups do suck. At least they're not core cop pull-ups. Those suck even more. All right, we're going into round two. So if you recall, we've got a backward lunge into a knee raise. Again, you're stepping back into that initial lunge and then you're going to have a slight forward lean. You're going to feel the stretch on your glutes and you're going to stay somewhat low. You're not going to come all the way up and you're just going to lift into that knee, okay? Keeping that forward, a slight forward fold. Here we go. Three, two, one, and down, and up, down, up, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go to the other side. Three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, for some reason I'm getting winded, seven, eight, nine, keep breathing, and 10. Nice. Next up, single hold with the side twist and the overhead press. You're gonna go a little lighter on those weights. Get into that nice sumo squat. Arms up in goal post. Three, two, one, and twist. Twist. Reach. That's one. Twist. Twist. Reach. Two. Twist. Twist. Reach. Three, twist, twist, reach, four, twist, twist, reach, five, twist, reach, six, twist, reach, seven, I'm going to breathe, eight, nine, nine, Last one, 10 and 10. Shake it up. What do we have next? Single leg deadlift to row. So I am going to do kickstand on these. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna heavy my load a little bit. Next round I'm gonna do balance. This time I'm gonna do kickstand. So one leg back, everything else, all of your weight, your 95% of your weight in that front foot, hinging at the hips, and come on down, back flat, here we go, row, and up, row, and two, head neutral spine throughout the movement, three, row, four, row, Five. If you're doing balance, you might be moving a little slower. 
row, seven, row, and eight. Give you a minute to catch up. I'm going to catch my breath. If you're doing the balance. All right. You're going to sit up. Again, most of your weight forward. Here we go. Three, two, one, and row. And up. Row. And two. Try to get your torso parallel to the ground at the bottom. Row. And three. Row. And four. Row. And five. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Row. And six. Row. And seven. Booty goes back. Row. And eight. Excellent. Excellent, my friends. All right, bring your bench out. We're doing kiss the bench. So it's quick. Uh, quick feedback. Was this move easy or hard for you? Keeping your elbows in. I want to know. Yes? Now I'm going to grab some soda. I mean, no one complained about it last time, unless that woo was for that. Um, it was difficult. All right, so we're going to stay in the, uh, let me do that side, four, four, no, five, six. We're going to do six or do whatever we did last time because I've already forgotten. All right, um, take your time. I think we did five last time, right? Yeah. So you guys do a good position. Feet shoulder width apart, hand shoulder width apart. Here we go, nice and slow. Three, two, one, and elbows down. Come forward. I love you, Bench. Here you come back. And that's one. We did five last time. I don't remember. Here we go. Here's number two. And two. Whew. Exhale as you push back. Oh, that's three. Elbows down. Woo! Let's get my nose on that. And back. That's four. One more time. And back. Really push. Oh, keep those elbows out parallel. Five. Excellent job. Excellent job. We are going to grab our weights. We're doing curls to punches. Remember, you have a stagger stance. We're not. But I want to make sure you twist your torso as you punch. Remember, these are hammer curls. Here we go. Three, two, one, and curl, punch, punch, down. Curl, punch, punch, two. Curl, punch, punch. Three, keep those elbows into your side. Curl, punch, punch for the curl. Down. Curl, punch, punch. Five. Curl, punch, punch. Six, I'm gonna switch. Curl, punch, punch. Seven. Punch, punch. Eight. Punch, punch. Nine. Punch, punch. Ten. Punch, punch, 11. Last one, punch, punch, and 12. Excellent job. Next, we've got our band of bird dog. Let's come up down to the ground. Here's my rope. Pick your poison on your hands, ankles, and hands. All right. Getting into a good quadruped position to start. Nice 90 degree angles. Well, my legs are a little, my arms are a little longer, so close. <laughs> All right, 10 on each side. Three, two, one, and lift. And lift, that's one. Lift. Lift, that's two. Lift. Lift, that's three. Lift. Lift, that's four. Lift, 
Lift, five. Halfway. Lift, that's six. Four more. Three more. Two more. I found that having it around my thumbs was actually more trouble than it's worth. Two more. Keeping it around your wrists is fair enough. Last one. Shake it out. Excellent. What do we have next? Corn cob push ups. We are doing eight. Eight is great. All right, elbows go back to facilitate that push up move. It can be sort of hard if the elbows go out. I mean, you can try it. Tell me how it feels for you. Yeah, a lot tougher. So I say, have your elbows go back, unless you want to wear fancy pants. Here we go. Do it inside eight. Three, two, one, and down. Side, side, up. Down, side, side, two. Down, side, side, three. Down, side, side, four. Down, side, side, five. Down, side, side, six. Down, side, side, seven. Down, side, side, and eight. You notice I went down on my knees for that last round, or that last round. The reason for that was that I could feel my back was starting to arch as I lift up, my, my back was sagging. I didn't want to put straight on my back with bad form, so I went on my knees, I'm sure that game, and did my last push-up with good form on my knees. All right, we are going to do our side planks. You ready for this? You all ready for this? Okay, let's do a set of 10. Remember, shoulder, over elbow, three, two, one, and up, and down. Two, and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Slip it, slip it around, slip it around. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, and then you get three, two, one, and up, and down. Press up, and down, and up, and down. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good, very good. Grab your yoga block or whatever you're using for this last one. I'm going to try 12s. Again, you're going to maintain contact, okay? Really think about forward folding at the waist, as opposed to just sort of curling over. Think about a good forward fold, working on that range of motion. Oh wow, it just got really bright. So, forward fold, arms straight overhead, lifting in three, two, one, and one. Two, core engaged, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Well, you notice something. I was struggling those last reps, and I came all the way down. But I want you to know that I came out so in control. So I don't want you to just be like, ugh, ugh, and just like letting the weight fall into your ankles, which would be very painful. But you want to be able to lift and lower with control. You can take breaks in between reps, quick breaks in between reps, as long as you're lifting 
with control. That is round two. Give me a high five. Woo! Woo! Are you guys ready for round three? This would be easy piece of lemon squeezy. I want to move this through this a little quicker than what we had before. So grab your water and let's get into it. I want to try to give you a little bit of a core work at the end. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and step back lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come to the other side. And step back, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Soon hold. Here we go. Three, two, one, and twist, twist, reach, one, twist, twist, reach, two, twist, twist, reach, three, twist, twist, reach, four, twist, twist, reach, five, twist, reach, twist, Reach, that's seven. Twist, reach, eight. Twist, reach, nine. Twist, reach, ten. Woohoo! Ah, see what that left. I'm gonna go for balance. We'll see how I do. And on each side. Three, two, one, and. Go, row, and up, down, row, and two, down, row, and three, down, row, and four. Lean the heel, or heel leads, if you're on the balance move. That's five, slight bend in supporting leg, row, and six, row, and seven, last one, row, and eight, shake it out, go to the other side, Whew. keep that back straight, shoulders down and back, heel knees moving, three, two, one, and back, row, and up, back, row, Ooh. and two, Back, this is my bad side apparently. Row and three. Back, row and four. Back, row, five. Back, row, ah. And six, back, row, seven. Last one, back, whew, I'm gonna do that again. Don't wait for me. Finish up, row, and eight. These help my hamstrings. I'm not getting good range of motion on that, because I suck. Well, hopefully you did much better than me. It's okay for you to do better than me. It's okay for me to have bad days. We're having an off day. All the muscles. All right. That being said, we're going back into kiss the bench. The hands on the bench. Elbows down and bend. Three, two, one, and down. Kiss the bench. Come back. Elbows down. Woo. That's one. Here we go. Number two. And back. That's two. Elbows down. Oh, baby. Talking dirty on my bench. And three. Here we go. Number four. 
And back, last one. Five. And woo! Excellent job. Last time we're doing those. Now we have curl two punches. We got 12 of these. Remember, exhale punches. Three, two, one, elbows into the side. Curl, punch, punch. Curl, punch, two. Curl, punch, three. Curl, punch, four. Curl, punch, five. Curl, punch, six. Curl, punch, seven. Curl, punch, eight, lowering with control. Lifting with control is nine. 10, two more, 11, and punch, punch, and 12. Awesome. Let's get onto the flow. Band and quadruped. Maybe down here. Get your bands ready. Get the bands back together. All right? Push. Bench out of the way if you need to. So I was having my thumbs tucked out. I actually find it easier without just a little strain on the thumbs. Whatever is comfortable for you. Remember, not sticking your butt out. You're not arching. No cat camel. It's nice straight back. Three, two, one, and lift. And lift. That's one. Lift. Lift. That's two. Lift, lift, that's three. Lift, lift, that's four. Keep your head neutral spine. Lift, lift, that's five. Maybe that's six, I don't know. This is six, I'm gonna call this six because I can't, can't count. Seven, if I lose count, I just need to do more. And you get stronger because my brain is weaker. Eight, nine, nice extension, last one, 10, and 10. Woo, done with those corn cob push-ups, not triceps today. Doing a sub eight, staying on the ground, eight is great. Here we go, three, two, one, and down. One, up, down, two, and up, down, three, and up, down, four, and up, down, five, down, six, down, seven, last one, down, Eight and excellent job. How did you do? How'd you do? How'd it go? Let's do these side plank lifts. Ten on each side. Get right into it. Three, two, one, and up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flip it around. Whew. Here we go. Three, two, one, and lift. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab your yoga block, grab your weight. It's the last round, last move for a full lift. Get a nice four full in contact with your 
Cushion, yoga block, whatever you got. Arms overhead. Here we go. Three, two, one, and lift. Two, shoulders away from your ears. Three, four, five, got five more. Six, don't lose contact with that block. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and you're done. Woo! Three rounds. High five. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I hope you had fun. You gotta put your weights away. And we're gonna do a quick core burner. So I know you always want to do four. We'll go a little over because I started late. My apologies. It's been that kind of day. Back weights. Don't smash your fingers. Ow. Okay. I hope you got everything cleaned up. So, how many minutes of core would you like to do today? We're at 55 minutes. So it's sort of up to uh, our faithful viewers how much over we want to go. Do you want to do a minute? Do you have to get out of here? Do you want to do a couple of minutes? Do you want to do a whole five? Let me know. I will grab the leg of soda. How many minutes? How many minutes? Survey says, woo. Okay. And <laughs> 30 seconds of core. All right, we're gonna do, uh, let's just do, we're gonna do 90 seconds of core. We're just gonna hold a plank, okay? And uh, throw some other stuff into it, okay? So, come on down, join me for plank. We're gonna be in a low plank today. We're gonna to start in eight seconds. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, hold that plank. And neutral spine, pushing back through those heels. Just hold the plank. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, opposite knees hit the ground. Keep that torso as stationary as possible. If you're looking at my top half, you would not know what the bottom half was doing. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Four, three, two, one. All right, hip rainbows. Hip to the side, hip to the side. Last 30 seconds. Oh, see if you can get all the way to the ground. If you can't, that's okay. Work on your range of motion. Now letting your hips sag through the movement. They're going side to side, but they're not sagging. And you've got 12 more seconds. Keep breathing. Last three, two, one. Oh my gosh. And now you are done. Good game. Woo. Oh, good game, good game, good game, good game. All right. Let's come on down to the ground. Grab some water. I'm gonna stretch you out. Oh, oh my gosh, that last hip hinge. Or twist the muscle I pulled, I just re pulled. Oh my gosh. All right. Sit. Feet in front of you. All right, here we are. Inhale. Exhale. Four fold. Oh. Roll up slow. Three, two, 
One, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hold it there, roll up. Three, two, one. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Roll up in three, two, one. Feet together. Leaning forward and back in your butterfly with a straight back. Thank you so much for working out with me today. You are that much stronger for showing up. It's so much fun, more fun to work out with friends. Craig and Maddie, thank you so much for working out with me today. Again, congrats on your engagement. So exciting. Yay! All right, let's kick the legs out. Oh, whatever straw is available, arms out to the side, reaching. Going side to side, stretching that lower back. Ooh, keep going. Ooh, keep aggravating that uh, thing. So let's go to the side. Lean and reach. Ooh. Come on up. Forward fold over that leg. I am not going very far today. Come on up. Lean and reach to the other side. Ooh. Ooh. Come on up, forward fold. So if you're in the Santa Barbara area, I am teaching going on Thursday, and uh, I'm actually teaching on Friday, Christmas Eve, if you're around. If you're not, that's okay. Not a lot of people are. Let's lie down. And uh, if you celebrate, you have a wonderful Christmas. Pull that leg close to your torso, foot, flex the foot, extend the knee as far as it will go. Two, three. Four, we're not going to do full flossing. Five, bend the knee, bring it across your chest, stretch the glute. And then bring it to the ground, twist the torso. Oh, yeah. So we go to the other side. Yeah, so Merry Christmas. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, floss. Oof. Three. Two, all I want for Christmas is better hamstrings. One, hug the knee, bring it across the chest, stretch the glute. Oh. Go all the way across. I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday. And if you already celebrated Hanukkah, I hope it was good for you. And I'll see you next week. We're going to turn around, come on up, we do a little bit of cat cow. Moo. No. Lean back, stretch those quads. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can do a quad stretch lying on your side, or you can get up and use the wall standing. And forward fold, pressing your hands into the ground for child's pose. And that is it, my friends. Craig, man, thank you so much for joining me today. Everyone, if you're watching this, thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you next week. Until then, take care. Mwah. I love you. Bye.